Hello Trader, in this video, I want to share a powerful yet very profitable strategy with you. Do not underestimate this strategy because of its simplicity. By mastering this strategy, you don't need the other ones anymore. I will go through everything step by step and try to teach you each and every detail. So be sure to watch the end video. First of all, open the TradingView website and then select the GBP USD pair. Now I'll set my time to the 15 minute time frame for this strategy. But keep in mind that you can use this method on all time frames and this strategy can be profitable on all of them. Now it's time to add indicators to our chart. In total, three free indicators are going to be used in this strategy. Let's get to applying the first one. Open the indicators tab from the top of the page in trading view. Then on the top of the tab in the search bar, we type our first indicator's name which is Trend Magic. We have this trend, Magic Indicator made by Savanchos. Bilge Indicator. As you can see, Trend Magic is an indicator with simple and clear buy and sell signals that we're going to use them to trade. This indicator contains one moving average line graph. The trading signals given by the indicator are based on the ATR period or CCI indicator. If the line is green, then it will give us a buy or long signal. Or for example like here, if line red, it will show a sell or short signal. Now, how do we trade using this indicator? As I said, this is a simple trading indicator which is very easy to use. And if you consider only two conditions, you can trade with the indicator alone. The two conditions are the appearance of a bullish or long signal and the candlesticks form simultaneously with a green line. So whenever these conditions are met, you can enter the trade where the trigger candlestick is closed and make a profit. You could have had an astounding profit from this trade. Also, for the sell signals, the conditions are exactly the opposite. If a line is red, appears alongside a candlestick which is closed under the red moving average lines, all conditions are fulfilled and we can enter the trade where the trigger candlestick has been closed and gain profit without any problem. Let me show you some more examples on different time frames. To prove that this indicator is really precise and effective, let's check out the 15 minutes time frame. See here. Even in this time frame, the indicator has turned red and gives short signal at the best point possible. If we had entered the trade using this signal, as you can see, we could have caught a very big movement of the market. This big movement of the market could have been snatched by using this short signal and we could have gained a lot of profits and had an amazing trade. Here we got a buy signal and the candlestick has been closed above the red moving average lines. So we can enter the trade here and open long buying position where the candlesticks has been closed again. The trade could have made a lot of profit for us just with the help of this indicator alone. But if we use this indicator alone, we could face some problems. Same as the other indicators that when the market enters the ranging zone, like here, in this situation we will get some fake signals. For instance, this signal here is fake and also this one is fake as well. We can eliminate all of these fake signals using the methods that I'm going to introduce later in this video. But before moving on to that, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe the channel for new trading strategy. Okay, now let me teach you how to filter these fake signals. We need to add another indicator to our charts. On top of the page, click on the indicators option and open the tab. On the search bar, Type CM Slingshot System and apply to your charts by clicking on it. Now this is how the indicator looks and it contains some high and low signal lines. We must open the settings of the indicator and change some things so that the indicator can become more optimized and efficient for our strategy. First, in this input tab we disable the first and third option because we won't be needing these two in this strategy. Now we can click on OK and close the tab. Let me explain how we will be using the zone line in arrow strategy. The way we use it is that whenever the market should be above the green zone and at the same time a green arrow should be created that we're currently at an uptrend movement and we are allowed to enter only by trade. And if the market price is under the red zone line, it tells us that we are in a downtrend movement and we should enter only short or sell trades. Let's see, the indicator has worked with the first one. 
here we got bearish or sell signal. You can see it here. The market price is currently below the red zone and a red colored arrow has been created here. And then we'll see the first indicator which is red in color. So we're currently at a descending trend and we are allowed to enter only sell trades. So this signal is valid and we could have entered a trade using it. If we were to do that and set our stop loss to here, we would have made a lot of profit. Now let's move on to the next trade. See here we got a buy signal. Let's check it up using the first indicator and see if it is valid or not. The market is currently in the green zone, but the line of the first indicator is still red color. So here we cannot execute the trade. But here you can see the second signal which is closing above the green zone. And also the first indicator is creating a green line. Now we will execute our trade here. Stop loss will be set below the arrow. And we made 4 times profit on the trade due to multiple arrows being created simultaneously. There is a bit of confusion on which one we should execute trade properly. So now we will add the third indicator to the chart. Go to indicator tab and type CM Macked custom indicator. Then select this one. Let's see how to use this. As you can see here, many signals have been created here according to the first and second indicators. Here we can easily find out on which of these signals we have to execute the trade help this third indicator. In the third indicator a dot of green color has been created. After that we will see the second indicator where the arrow has been created and the line which is here in the first indicator is of green color. So in this position we will execute our trade. Stop loss will be set below the arrow. Now let's test a bearish trade and check out its conditions. So we will see the MACD indicator at the bottom in which the point of the red dot has been created. After that we will see the second indicator which line we should have a red color and after that we will see where is arrow created. So here all our conditions are fulfilled. So we will execute the trade and set the stop loss above the arrow. Now that we've completely learned this strategy, I want to test it on the GBPJPY chart with a 5 minutes time frame. And I want to see so how much profit we could have made in these trades using this strategy. Now let's see how much profits are made with just these 100 trades. Now let's see how much profits are made with just these 37 trades. And it took 140 days of price data to find the 37 trade signals, which is actually very good. There were 31 winners and 6 losses. This is a really good win rate because our risk reward ratio is 1. As to 2, the most won in a row was 5 and the most lost in a row was 2. The gain on the account was 2300% and that's risking 2% per trade. That means you can 23 times your account balance in 140 days while risking 2%. Don't risk more than 2% per trade. Guys, this strategy before use live trading must be use in paper trading, if you not check so liable of your loss money. And if you like this video so press the like button and subscribe the channel for more new video. Thank you for watching our video.